Rasa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel and to a new vlog. So this week I'm going to be vlogging about uh, the books that I'm reading for the Summer Wing Readathon. So this is a readathon that is hosted by Gabby and Olivia. I'm going to link their channels down below if you want to check out the readathon. So today is technically day two of the readathon because it started yesterday, uh, Friday the 15th, I think. So today is Saturday and this is going to be day one for me, but that's okay. So I'm going to start with The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. I actually already started this book earlier today. On this book, we are following Kara, who is newly divorced, and she is going back to her hometown, uh, but she didn't want to live with her mother because she didn't get alone with her too well and so she goes to live with her uncle and her uncle owns this museum which is a weird museum that has all these um, like taxidermy like basically dissected animals and just weird things that he has collected from all over the world. This museum has become this popular like tourist attraction in town and so the uncle is having some like medical issues so she is asked to take care of the place for him and so one day when she is kind of closing out for the night um, she finds this hole in the drywall. She asks her friend Simon to help her like patch the hole so he comes back the next day with all the tools uh, but then they realize that this hole kind of goes beyond the wall like they can put their whole arm through and there is this secret other room in between the drywalls and so once they get there they find this door and this door is taking them to a like strange other place they describe this place as kind of like the scary version of narnia and there is other doors on this place as well so they're kind of having a hard time going back to where they started because there's so many doors and it's just so bizarre but i'm really enjoying the book so far so i am in i think chapter seven that's where i am right now and um so yeah so so far so good with this book i'm going to um kind of finish up cleaning here the studio a little bit and then i'm gonna give you another update <music> of the day and don't mind my face i just <laughs> washed my face and i was getting ready to go to bed but i wanted to give you an update on my reading so i was able to finish this book as i was cleaning my bookshelves organizing the house a little bit and so okay so they basically found this door that took them to this strange other world and um it got so creepy and scary because there's these creatures on this other world that basically leave off your fears these creatures kind of gain their strength on your fear and they can read your thoughts and kind of based on what you're thinking they can find where you are and then they found these other people on, that was basically trapped on this strange war and they were like explaining to them how the creatures work and what they did to them and there was this scene that was so creepy on like a school bus that they found on this other world that i'm still kind of thinking about it and it's so scary so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to actually go to bed um but anyway so the next book that i'm going to read for this readathon is going to be sleepless and i actually got my little lamp set up because I am going to read this in bed on the dark so I'm going to turn everything off and just have my little reading lamp on I think that's going to be the, the prompt for reading on the dark <laughs> but anyway so this book sleepless is about two friends Nadia and Laura and so Nadia was convicted for a crime when she was just a child and I think years later she you know she's um released from prison and she meets this other girl Laura who is her only friend and then Laura has 
kill somebody and she's asking Nadia to help her basically get rid of the body and so Nadia can refuse her only friend basically and so I think they go into this remote house in the woods to kind of bury the body there but then everything goes wrong after that and then so I was looking at the book and I really like the way it was formatted like there is um like a countdown of events it says like two now two nights ago or you know like a week ago or something like that and then there's also like leathers i don't know if you can see that um so i just really like when books have a lot of like breaks like that because it just makes it so easy and so dynamic to like read and to kind of like build the scene in your head so i'm excited to get to this so let's go ahead and read in the back and to be honest with you last night i did not get <laughs> very far on my sleepless book because i fell asleep <laughs> um, but anyway i am enjoying the book so far so i'm going to continue with this one um, today as well but um, i was going to switch into a new audiobook because um I have this book that I've been wanting to read and I have the audiobook and it's about to expire. So I want to get to that as soon as I can. This book is The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McManon. Again, I've been wanting to read this book for a while. And so I'm going to listen to the audiobook before it expires because I think I have like two days on the audiobook. Um, and um, I'm excited for this book here. So I'm going to be doing some chores around the house as I listen to this today. Also, I have some edits to do for my website and things like that so that's what i'm going to be listening to and me and the girls are getting ready to go to the store we're gonna go look for cat toys and a new scratching post because we got a new living room set and i really don't want them to get their hands on that so i want to give them a new toy that way they are excited about that instead of being excited about the new couch that we got so that's what we're gonna do um so yeah we just came back from the store and i wanted to show you the new cat tree i guess it is um that we got so so far and they love it we have oreo here look how cute oh you love it <laughs> and so this is the new sofa that we got and it is so comfortable mia loves it <laughs> and i love that it goes as an L shape so we can all see it at once and watch a movie and it has been so cozy. I'm sorry about the mess. We were watching a movie here last night also and um, we also got this painting at the store today. Um, so I want to hang it here. So by the way, the cut tree we got at PetSmart and um, we also went to like what is in Marshalls or Home Goods? One of those, and uh, we got the painting, and we also got some other paintings that I'm gonna show you that I think I wanna put on the studio. But anyway, so I'm going to continue with my audiobook and do some cleaning around the house. So a quick update on the reading. So I started the Children on the Hill on audiobook as I was doing million things around the house so i am super tired <laughs> but i'm about to sit down and just take a break and continue with the reading um but um yeah so far so good i've been flying through this book and so we are following two different timelines 1978 and 2019 so on 1978 we have this um, woman she is a I think a doctor or some sort of like psychiatrist um, doctor and she takes care of her two grandkids because their parents had 
an accident so she was taking care of them and um, so the grandchildren name are Violet and Eric and they are so cute together they're always exploring the woods um, and they are kind of make this journal about monsters and how to like fight a monster anything and you know like things like that and then one day the grandma brings home another kid and her name is iris and she just tells the kids that she's going to basically become their new sister but they're not allowed to tell anybody that she is living there so that right there something mysterious happening with this little girl so on 2019 we are following lizzie shelley and she um has this podcast about um, monsters being real and so she is going back to this town where these children live to kind of find out what is happening why are there so many girls missing on this town and so again super super engaging so far so good so i am in the chapter where there is a fire that happens and the kids want to like call uh, the firefighters and the grandma says no we're not we're not calling anybody here so what is she hiding i'm not sure so i'm gonna continue reading this book and i'll check back with you when i'm done hey guys so it is later on the day it is like eight o'clock and it's so sunny out today um but anyway i'm gonna go pick up dinner the girls want sushi for dinner we're big sushi fans in this house and i'm also gonna get a car wash because i always like getting car washes on sundays that way my car is fresh and ready to go uh, for work tomorrow so i was able to sit down and relax and i finished the children on the hill and wow so a lot of unexpected events happen um definitely things i wasn't anticipating and i just loved it. so uh, we were following the grandma who was taking care of her grandchildren and um, then they found this girl who the grandma uh, basically took her in to live with them right so they all grew up as you know like sisters and and the brother and then on the 2019 we were following um another person who runs a, like a podcast that went to this town to investigate the disappearance on some missing girl she believes that her sister has something to do with the disappearance of these girls and so you kind of know that um this girl is one of you know it's one of the children one of the sisters and so i kind of knew that she was one of the sisters um but i had no idea um what else was coming so I don't want to spoil anything for the book. I definitely feel like you have to read it. The book also gave me a little bit of uh, Stranger Things vibes, like with, you know, the children and the whole like mental hospital study. And so I think that's all I can say without spoiling um, this book. So anyway, so I am going to end the vlog here. That way I have enough time to edit and have this video posted and i think i'm going to be vlogging maybe every two days that way you can kind of see an update on the books that i'm reading so if you're also following the read up down let me know which books um, you are reading and also let me know if you have read any of the books that i am mentioning right now and so yeah so i will see you guys on the next one Bye bye